Hi everybody, it's Frank here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your bookmarks in Firefox to either an HTML or .json file format. I'll show you which format to use for which purpose and how to correctly restore slash import all or only selected bookmarks. Also, I'll show you how to add comments to the bookmarks and a way to share all or some of them with other people quickly and easily. So recently I did a fresh reinstall of one of my Linux Mint computers and as part of that process, backed up and restored all of my bookmarks from Firefox. Before I did this, I had to take a second to remember where you find the buttons to make that happen, since unlike other browsers, Firefox makes finding the important backup button a bit of a challenge. So let's open up Firefox. And on this virtual machine, I've got just a few links that I put in here, including a folder with some other stuff. And I'm going to show you how to back these things up. Now, I mentioned in there that you can put comments in these. And that's kind of a useful thing. Let's say you've bookmarked something really quickly that you intend to get back to later. And then later on, you're looking through this and you go, why in the world do I have this link here to this mastering Windows Server thing? What you can do is go into Properties. And by default, it'll have a description that it picks up from the website. You can delete that and just put in your own comment. And this was a book recommended by Oscar, let's say, and I just want to save that as a note to myself. And that's part of that bookmark now. So where do we go to back this stuff up? Normally you go to File, look for Import and Export. It's not there. You can look through all of these menus. You can even go into preferences and look around. It's not in there. Why? I don't know. Where to find this is to go into the bookmarks and click on show all bookmarks and that'll open up the library and the library has the important backup button here. So click on that and we'll have two choices. We have backup and we have export bookmarks to HTML. Let's look at the backup one first. And when I click on that, it's going to make a file with the date of today's date already on it in a .json file format. And what this is used for is to back up and restore all of your bookmarks. And this is what I did when I backed up my machine, then deleted everything, reinstalled everything, and I restored all my bookmarks in Firefox using this process. The thing to keep in mind with this is that when you import this into Firefox, it will overwrite anything that's already there. So if you already made some bookmarks in there, this will overwrite that with whatever's in this file. And I don't know who Jason is, but I'm jealous he has his own file extension. That's pretty cool. Let's get out of this. Let's look at the other one, which is export bookmarks to HTML. HTML, you probably know, is hypertext markup language and is basically a web page. The only thing it doesn't do here is it doesn't put the date automatically. Bummer. But this has a couple of advantages, this format. One of those is that you can import this file back into Firefox and it will add whatever's in here to your already existing bookmarks, whatever they are. And if there's duplicates, you'll have duplicates. You'll have to go and delete out the extras. But it is a good way to add something. The other great thing you can do with this file is you can use this to import your Firefox bookmarks into a different browser like Chrome or something else. Just import this directly and add it to your other browser. A third thing that this will do, and I'll show you here shortly, is it'll create a file that you can actually open the file directly. It'll open in a browser window, and it'll have all your bookmarks as links on there. And you can actually open the links directly from this file or you can give this file to somebody else and they'll be able to have all the links that you have. So here's a scenario. Let's say this is my work computer and I want to back up all the bookmarks on here and put it on my home computer. And then I also want to have just this folder, just these Linux related stuff links. I want to save those and then forward those off to some other people so that they can import those links and only those links into their browser or they can use it just from a file. I'll show you how to do that. So to get that done, the first thing I'm going to do is go in here, go to Show All Bookmarks, go to Import and Backup. And for the machine at home, since that's a fresh, clean install of the whole operating system in Firefox, I'm going to do a backup. 
and then I'll just do a restore and have everything. So I'll back this up in this .json format. Just save that, just takes a second. And also, for the ones that I'm going to share with other people, I'm going to do export to HTML and save that as well. That just takes a second, close this, and I'll show you what that looks like. Here's my HTML file, and if I just double click and open that, it's going to open as a web page in your browser. And here's all my links, here's everything. And you can simply just click on one of these links and it'll go to that page. So that's kind of cool there. You can actually use that just like this. You can forward that file to somebody and tell somebody just to open it and you have my links. But I don't want to give them all this, uh, this other stuff here and I don't want to give them this stuff that's pre-populated with Linux. I just want to give them this folder here, this Linux related stuff. So let me show you how you can edit this. Let me close it out here. You can do this on your Linux machine or on a Windows machine with LibreOffice installed. And LibreOffice comes free with Linux Mint and most versions of Linux. And it's also a free download if you're using Windows. You can get it for that as well. It's pretty nice. I'm just going to select Open with LibreOffice Writer. And there's that page. And what I'm going to do is edit this. And notice it has this neat thing here, do not edit. We don't care about that. I think that only applies to uh, Democrats and Republicans. I don't want all this other stuff, so I'm going to delete it. Just select it. Backspace, delete that away, get rid of this junk. And I'll leave this top part here on here. I can also edit these comments as well. Let's, let's add something here. And I'll just save that. Just hit save. And I'm going to leave this as an HTML document. Okay, now a neat thing you can do with this, let's say I wanted to just share these files with somebody, is I can just take this file as it is, send it to them, and they can just click the links from it. They'll be able to read my notes here. Another thing you can do is just copy this and paste it into an email. As long as the email accepts input as HTML format, it'll be the same thing. It'll be the text with a comment and a clickable link on there. Pretty cool. Okay, here I am on my freshly installed Windows 8.1 virtual machine. I've got a brand new install of Firefox. It has no bookmarks in it at all right now. And let's say I bookmark something here. I bookmarked Google.com just so I could have that. So I'll bookmark that. I'll take that out of here and put it in my list here. Google.com. There we go. Now what I want to do is I want to import just this bookmarks.html file, the one that had the selected ones. Let me open that to show you. This is that same file that we had before where I deleted everything except these Linux Mint bookmarks. Close that. And I'm going to bring that in here and add that to my existing bookmarks, or bookmark in my case. So I'll go to Show All Bookmarks, Import and Backup. And then from here, I want to do import bookmarks from HTML. Go to my desktop. There it is. Open that. And it's done. Now if I go into bookmarks, here is my Linux-related stuff that I imported. And you see it only imported that that was left on there. And it left my Google bookmark alone. And that's what I want. And also, it should still have the comment that I put in here. And remember, I added this super word here as well. So it saves all that stuff too. Now let's say this was my home machine and pretend I haven't imported anything on here. This is still fresh. I can go into Show All Bookmarks, Import and Backup, and Restore. And on Restore, it's going to have a couple of automatically backed up files here. We don't want that because there's nothing to back up. So we click Choose File. And here's that .json file. I just double click this. And here's the warning here. This will replace all of your current bookmarks with the backup. Are you sure? So we say OK. And now if I open bookmarks, I'll see that it's essentially replaced everything here with what I had before. I have all my Linux stuff. It has my links here. 
but it did not duplicate that Google because it was in the original backup. It erased the ones that were there and put these in its place. And that's what I want. So to sum up, just remember that when you export as an HTML file, you can use that file to import your bookmarks in another browser, and you can use that file edited to import only select bookmarks and add them to what you have in Firefox already, or use the file to just send it off to somebody or copy and paste into an email so people have your links. If you use the .json file format, it will overwrite all of the bookmarks that you have in Firefox. So I hope you found that informative and useful, and if you did, give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you want to get more of this stuff as it comes out. And until next time, thanks for watching.